Chevy. Chevy. You have that big fluffy thing again, man. Chevy. Do you see someone outside? You see someone? Who's there? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Go check. Go see. It's nobody. So we just woke up, we had breakfast. Today's Monday, so I have to quickly run into Portersville Prairie to deliver that load. Waste my whole day. Actually, I drove past the customer on Saturday already, but they weren't open until today, so now I gotta go back there. So I could have had this all done. But you know, people like weekends and stuff. What's going on over here? Oh my. You're cosening. Oh my, the good stuff. Oh, the good stuff. Oh yeah. Get it, Frank, get it. Get it. Oh. Very good, yeah, thank you. He loves it. That's to help him uh, strong bones, right? Uh, no, lubricate the joints. Oh, okay. Well, I've got the truck running, so we need to go and get our trailer and bring it to where it needs to be and come back home. Well, here we go. I got the trailer behind me again. Bring this on over to Portage. Portage Little Prairie is only about an hour from here. It's just straight west from Winnipeg. Like I was saying this morning, it would have been nice to be able to deliver it on my way past there on Saturday. Because I went right past there. You saw it, right? But nobody's there to unload me. And I only went past there at 5 in the afternoon, right, when they were all going home anyway. Even if there was someone there. But whatever. Gives me something to do this Monday. Still have tomorrow at home yet. Maybe even Wednesday, I don't know. I, I went into the office there again. I made myself available for Wednesday again, but I said, but if you want to send me out Thursday, that's okay too. Just throwing that out there. Just throw in there. Throw it right there. I'm okay with that. Extra day at home, couldn't hurt. But then I gotta be gone for the rest of the month. <laughs> there is a price to pay. I mean, I could ask to be home as much as I want, sort of, within reason, but... Then suddenly, you know, bills start not getting paid. One day, though, one day, they'll, they'll be all paid off, and we'll just be sitting there, some gray hair on my head. Hopefully, I'll still have hair on my head. Retired, laughing at all you guys who still have to work. Okay, buddy, this guy turned in front of me and does not know where his accelerator pedal is. The one on the right. Seriously, what's up with this guy? I'm gonna go around him soon. There's a stoplight coming up though and I don't wanna be in the left lane for the red light. So if we get through the green light, I'm going around him. He's still doing 60. Well, here it's an 80 zone. Okay, he knows where his brake pedal is. Well, that's good. Making my windshield all dirty, man. So a little tip for you drivers when you come up to a stoplight on the highway, especially around the south perimeter of Winnipeg here, don't use the left lane. That's for the cars. Let the cars use the left lane like that so they can get around us. And then once you get through the light, then you pull out to pass. Almost every time I come through here, except for this time, of course, truck drivers always plug up both lanes of traffic and then all traffic is at a crawl, right? At least let the cars get past because they can accelerate faster. I mean, by the time you want to pass, they'll all be gone anyway. All trucks should be in the right lane at a stoplight. Even if you're backed up way further than the left lane, just stay in the right lane. It's just the, the right thing to do. You see here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why is this truck in the left lane at the stoplight? Why? What is your purpose? There's a stoplight here, there's another stoplight just ahead at Keniston. And now you're stuck in the left lane, blocking all the traffic in that lane. Why would you do that? Now the left and the right lane are both plugged up, right? Because if we get this light red here, which we will, and he's still in the left lane, I don't. I find that very inconsiderate and very uh, unprofessional. He's still here, right beside me. So if you're watching this and you didn't know this sort of unwritten rule, don't do what this guy here is doing. Don't come up to the stoplight in the left lane. Stay in the right lane, always. 
Use that lane for passing. Really bugs me. Look at this. There's a whole bunch of cars lined up behind him now, right beside me, that are all stuck. Oh, so you're just gonna cut in front of me. Oh, okay, you're just gonna cut me off. Okay. Well, at least you got back in the correct lane. Why did you even leave the lane to begin with? We're here in Oak Bluff, and I am definitely going to need a coffee. I've got four tarps to unroll. At least it's a warmer day today. You know, it's only minus 15. I'm not too worried about that. It's just, oh, what's this guy doing? Excuse me, don't back into me. I'm gonna drive through your little snow piles here. Here, oh, 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 don't get me stuck, don't get me stuck. Okay, we're good, we're good. We made it, we're good. Just pulling into this little petrol pass here. I used to always go to the Timmy's across the street at Esso, but uh, not anymore. I'm at odds with Timmy's. I know, what kind of Canadian am I? I don't care what you say. Their coffee isn't very good anymore. I'm trying something new. I've got a gym membership. Just got one today. Pretty excited about it. And I wanna try something. I wanna get back into shape, back, get my fitness level back up there. Before the wedding, two years ago, I did my walking all summer, but I didn't have any strength or core training available while I was doing that, right? And we have our treadmill at home, which we make use of. But I got a month to month membership just for now, just to see how much use I get out of it. Yeah, because they have locations all across Canada and the United States, so I can uh, use any of them while I'm on the road. I'm gonna see how it works out. I've known of a couple of drivers before that used to stop at the gym every day, and they made it work with their day. They made it work and made time for themselves to do that. Your physical health is pretty important, I'd say. So I'm excited to sort of uh, try and start a new habit of going at least, you know, I'd like to do strength training at least three days a week and maybe go in for some cardio, just walking or jogging on the treadmill. I'm not gonna go in there hoping for the biggest results. I don't plan on going in there and coming out just chiseled and ripped. I just wanna get fit for now. I wanna get to a healthy weight. And hey, if, if I end up gaining some good muscle mass out of it too, hey, that can only benefit me. It'll make my job easier. It'll, it'll make my wife happier. It'll make me happier, healthier, make my heart stronger, make me live longer. That's the theory. So we'll see. I'll include it in the vlogs as I start trying it out. I'm gonna be the new guy at the gym. A little nervous, a little shy, but you know, I'll figure out what I'm doing. I just, that's what YouTube and the internet is for. And got a couple of apps that are gonna tell me what kind of workouts to do and how to do them properly and so that I don't look like a fool, hopefully. And if I stick to it, you know, maybe after six months to a year, maybe you'll be able to start seeing some real differences. But like I said, not shooting for the moon right now. I'm just aiming for creating new habits right now, healthier habits. See what happens. In Headingley, Manitoba, west of Winnipeg here, and it looks like the scale is closed up ahead. I got signed up with, uh, what's it called, DriveWise Bypass System, I think that's what it's called, for uh, pre-pass, that's what everybody knows it as, pre-pass for weigh scales. Uh, it works mostly in the US, but it, it also tells me, like on my computer screen here, right beside me, where it shows me how many hours I have left to drive, it'll tell me when I'm coming up to a scale, and it, it could bypass me past the scale, so if I get a green light, I don't even have to pull in and get weighed and, you know, say hello to those officers. 
So I'm excited to try it out once I get down into the US. They have all the pre-pass set up down there. Whereas here in Canada, like here's the scale up ahead here. There's no pre-pass set up. So my computer's just telling me there's a scale coming up, follow the road signs. This road sign above the road here is telling me that the lights aren't flashing and that the scale's closed. But if this was a US scale, you know, my, my computer might give me a green light. I could just drive right past the open scale. Or every once in a while it might give me a red light and I'd have to pull in and they can check me out. I've always wanted to try that. I'm, I'm glad this, that we finally got signed up with that. I think that's awesome. Because up until now, I've had to stop at every single scale that was open. Every single one. Because we didn't have this bypass system. And here we are once again. Oh, and it looks like another driver's in front of me. Goody. I have an appointment, but I bet you he has an appointment too and they're running behind. Goody, goody. Or maybe he didn't make an appointment and they'll come get me first because I made an appointment. Apparently they've been having problems here with drivers just showing up without appointments. It's been very frustrating for them, understandably. This guy looks like he's got the same stuff as me. Let's see how lucky we get. Maybe they'll take us first. Well, it looks like they've made some pretty good progress on this work site here. That's good to see, good to see. That's sort of sad at the same time, because once they're done putting insulation up, they're not going to need me to bring them any anymore. And this was a perfect delivery to get me home, you know? I guess all good things have to come to an end eventually. After this, we usually have lumber coming out of BC, getting me back to Manitoba. But uh, since they started this building site here, we've been able to keep busy with this and it pays a little better than lumber almost anything pays better than lumber lumber loads are like just to get by just to get you from point a to point b you don't really make a lot of money hauling wood man unless if it's like specialty specialty wood but if it's just like regular two by six two by four economy lumber or whatever whatever you can put on your trailer it's usually it's usually just to get you somewhere else where a better paying load is and that's usually what coming out of BC is for us. But I called them, let them know I was here. So uh, I don't know what this guy's doing here, if he has an appointment or not. If he doesn't have an appointment, like so many that they've been saying, because I always call them and let them know I'm coming, and they always say, thank you so much for calling. Almost every driver, they say 90% of drivers who've been delivering here don't call ahead. They just show up and expect to get unloaded. And the guys working the equipment are like, uh, <laughs> we don't got time for you. Right. So if he doesn't have one, then they'll move past him and I'll get pulled in before him, which will probably really tick him off. <laughs> Can you imagine you're sitting here waiting at the gate? Some guy comes in after you and he gets to go get unloaded first and you got to wait. That's the price you pay for not making an appointment. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Just got my new load offer sent through to me here. And that's all. It was an offer. They asked me if I was able to do this. They asked me, are you able to leave Tuesday night? I was kind of secretly hoping to leave Thursday, but... Uh, Wednesday would have been nice, but uh, they have a load going down to Schiller Park, Illinois, which is pretty much Chicago. It's right by uh, Chicago O'Hare International Airport, right in Chicago. And then from there, they're going to send me up to St. Catharines, Ontario, and then probably back west from there, which is a good route. It's a, it's a really good route, and that load coming out of St. Catharines is a pretty nice load, if you know what I mean. has very nice numbers attached to it. So I said, yeah, I can make that work. So we'll be leaving uh, Tuesday night, tomorrow night. Wait, yeah, tomorrow night instead of Wednesday. Oh, they just responded to me. Oh, how do I open this? Hey, hey, there we go. See what, see what they said. They said, yes, I'm going to work. They said, okay, that's your plan then. I'll send you load info now. Okay, so all the load info is coming through. So I have to deliver that lumber load. I was just talking about lumber, right? <laughs> Got to deliver a lumber load into Chicago by Thursday. And getting reloaded in St. Catharines on Friday. Okay. Okay, well, like I said, the lumber is to get me down to Chicago. And I'm sure they have another load to get me into Ontario. They're not going to send me empty all that way. I highly doubt that. I wouldn't like that very much. I'd be kind of like, heh, that makes the numbers on the St. Catharines load not so nice. But, all right. Okay, well, that's the plan. Going to Chicago, then going to St. Catharines. 
and then probably coming back home. Cool. I'm okay with that. So it turns out these guys are going to be working overtime today because uh, there's another driver. That driver that was in front of me with the green truck and the green tarps. Once again, he came to the gate and said that his appointment was mine. He said that he was me. I specifically told them the name and number of my truck. I told them my name is Josh. I said, when I get there, you will know it is me so that nobody takes my appointment. What do I know? Someone stole my appointment again. Drivers, stop doing this for crying out loud. What are we in, like grade three? Wait your turn in line. Been ridiculous. It's been almost every week already. You, you make an appointment so that you're sure to get unloaded. Someone shows up without an appointment, claims to be you, lies to them so that he can get unloaded first. Now they didn't technically have time to unload me, but I called in into their manager and said, well, I made this appointment with you three days ago, last week. I called ahead before I got here, a half hour before I got here, I called again to make sure that they knew I was coming on time, that I'll be there. Told him my name again and he knew who I was, knew what my truck looked like. And I got here just before I pulled in here, that green truck pulled in and uh, they, I guess the guys, he sent his workers out to get him and they asked, hey, are you Josh, you here for the appointment? And the guy's like, yep, 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 that's me. I'm here for my appointment. He didn't have an appointment. He showed up without an appointment. You guys know who these green trucks are. You know, you local guys around here, you know which company that is. They're really uh, big on hauling some kinds of freight. Big on that freight. And big on stealing appointments, apparently. Playing a little dirty. Oh, that upsets me. So now I gotta wait and I had to convince them to work overtime now. Well, I didn't have to convince them. I told them, well, I have to get unloaded. I have a reload waiting for me. Uh, I need this trailer empty. And you told me I'd be getting unloaded. That's why I called ahead. That's my rant, my rant is over. So here we sit, waiting, waiting, waiting for the appointment thief to get unloaded first. I think what they should do is tell him to tie his load back down and get back out here and he can get unloaded tomorrow. Because that's what they wanted to do with me, right? He's way in the back there somewhere. They wanted to unload me tomorrow now. And I said, no, 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 I'm Josh. I'm the one who called. I'm the one with the appointment. And they just had this sort of look like, oh, on their face. Oh, that was you. That wasn't him. I said, yeah, look at my truck. My truck, I didn't say that my truck was green. I said I had a white truck. You knew who I was. So they made a mistake. But really, they should be asking more in detail to make sure that they're taking in the right person. Because this is, this is unacceptable. Wait, do they want me to pull in now? No, they want that guy to pull in. Okay, this is a different crew. Here goes this guy. I don't know what to say. But now we're going to be here apparently to like 7 or 8 o'clock, they think. I think it's going to be a lot faster than that, but they think. And they wanted to go home at 5, so they got to stay overtime. And apparently they don't get paid for overtime. They're on like salary or something. So really, they shot themselves in the foot by taking in the green guy before me. Not going to name any names or anything. You know who you are. Green trucks based out of Steinbach. Tell your drivers to call ahead and make appointments. Stop stealing other people's appointments. Well, they said this was going to take two and a half to three and a half hours. They couldn't unload me today because there's no time. I told them, I guarantee you, it'll be less than an hour. Guarantee you. No, 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 we unload these all the time. It's going to take three hours probably. Like, no, I deliver these all the time. It's going to take less than an hour. Believe me, this is Trucker Josh. It took 45 minutes. See, it all depends on who the driver is. They said other drivers, they take their tarps off so slowly and unstrap the load so slowly that it takes them two and a half to three and a half hours to get him out of here. 
I ripped off all my tarps, folded them up before they were even done unloading, had all my bungees all bundled up, straps rolled up. Now sitting here in my cab waiting for them to sign the bill by the time they took the last piece off. Less than an hour. What did I say? What did I say? You can trust me. This is Trucker Josh. Now I don't know how to get out of here though. <laughs> Am I gonna have to back all the way out? No way. No way. I don't know how to get out of here. I don't got any really good angles for you other than this. So, uh, here we go. Let's figure this out. And these guys were all saying, oh, they're gonna have to work till seven o'clock without overtime to get me unloaded. We were done at quarter to five. Man, I love being right, you know? I know how long it takes me to get my equipment off my trailer. I really think they just didn't want to do another truck today. I, I, I know for a fact that they know that it does not take three hours to unload this stuff. I know that because they do it every day. Look at this guy coming here. Those double 53 foot pikes. Look at this guy. Look at him. Thinks he's hot. Hot stuff. There he goes. Oh, lots of traffic here. I might have to be a little more aggressive getting onto the road here. Nobody wants to move over. There's another lane, my friends. Try that one, it works just as good. There you go, you're moving over. You're moving, no, that guy will not move over. No, nope. will not move over. All right, I get it, you're selfish. I get it, not paying attention. Don't know how to drive, it's okay. You're not the only one, it's okay. There's lots of you, you got lots of friends. All right, let's give her. Let's go home. Get to enjoy tonight at home yet, and uh, most of tomorrow. And tomorrow we head out to the USA. Got my welcoming committee here. <laughs> hey, hey, I thought you guys were coming to say hi to me. I guess not. <laughs> no big deal, I got home. So Brit's in the shower and we're winding down for the night. Tomorrow got to get the truck serviced and leave on a trip. Diesel, Diesel, do you think maybe tomorrow we should go on a trip? Do you think maybe we should go to Wisconsin? Maybe we should go through all the way through Wisconsin? We see some Wisconsin cows. Get some Wisconsin cheese, maybe. We're gonna go all the way to Chicago. All the way to Chicago. And we're gonna go all the way through Michigan into Ontario, then all the way through Ontario back home. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be fun. Chevy, you're gonna stay at home and keep Mom and Frank company, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, are you worried? It's gonna be fun, Diesel, don't worry. <laughs> good night, Chevy. Say good night to the people. Say good night. Anything you want to add? Good input. Good input. We'll see you guys tomorrow.